So that's what this space is all about. I'm so excited, so happy to welcome you to Positive Exposure 109. It's a thrill also to see so many of, of, our, of our ambassadors on the wall. There's Kaylin and here's gorgeous, gorgeous Grace is just here. Kelsey just arrived. Make sure you say hello to our beautiful Kelsey. She's here. And also Car Massey. Car's up, she's up in, probably in the back there. Car, I love you. I, think, I love you. I hear you. I love you. So we're just so thrilled to have all this great opportunity and this really great, beautiful space that's so embracing all, diff all differences, all diversity, and seeing the beauty of human diversity. So the beauty of that, which is exciting. So many years ago, when we were first starting with Positive Exposure, right after Life Magazine piece came out on albinism called Redefining Beauty, we had the great opportunity to collaborate with the National Institute of Health, the National Human Genome Research Institute, and the Genetic Alliance to create a photographic exhibition Exhibition that was going to launch at the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. for the People's Genome Celebration. That's when the first time I met Kaylin was that, with that, for that photo shoot. So, so, so many great years, but many, many years ago. I think the exhibition was in 2001. So, but, they, but that night in the opening of this, in the, in this, at the Museum of Natural History, it was so exciting. But I brought along a, a brand new friend who I just recently photographed. And it's so exciting that she's here with us tonight. She performed that night. She did, in the Smithsonian, she performed. It was the most beautiful, magical moment ever. And she's here with us again tonight to bring it full circle. We're back again, baby. And you're here, and I love you. <laughs> I would also like to introduce my accompanist, Ms. Xinwei Jiang on violin. I dedicate this to all of us.